A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Dead Zirkling, Radio Raptor, Vlad Tepish 3176, and Brian D0313. You all help make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here with some more Castlevania Quest. Last time, we got to Dracula's abode. And, um, couldn't quite beat him. Um, but I think I have a solution. I think I know how to take him down. We'll see. Yeah, I got back here pretty easily. Except for level 7. Goddamn, the fishmen were ridiculous. Okay, apparently that bat does not um, drop anything for me. Um, I would really love to have this axe to fight Dracula, but I've only got three hit points left, and there's no meat anywhere on this level. So unless I get lucky and something just happens to drop an orb, not a whole lot I can do about it. So, you know, you can one-shot the level with your sub-weapon, or not. Ah, frickin' blobs. Just the worst. Blobs are not good people. They should be ashamed of themselves. I know it's possible to dodge that one, I just don't know how to do it myself. That's fine though, you know. All in all, all I have to do is make sure to not get hit by a single flail. At all, the whole way through. Piece of cake, right? I mean, simplest thing in the world, I'm sure. Oop. So nice having a sub-weapon on this level this time. I very much doubt it'll stick around for long, but you never know. Maybe I'll just absolutely nail it. As long as I don't get nailed myself. Or spiked. Very extremely spiked. These taller ones you can always duck under. That's nice. It's the low ones that you gotta look out for. Clearly. Very tricky and dangerous, those are. Ah! Right in the back of the skull. Oh well. I didn't want those crummy old axes anyway. Did I? Nope. Didn't even need them. I think they're so cool, being able to kill things conveniently, at a distance, without me having to get close to them. Pfft. Lame. Alright, how will my noggin be destroyed by flails today? Can't wait to find out. Edging ever closer to victory. Yes. Little bit more. Alright. I guess I made this a lot harder than it really should have been the last time. Eh? Because it seems to me like it's not really that difficult to get through here. Okay. A three hour prep work for what could be a ten minute episode, or less. Let's see if we can fight. Mr. Dracula, successfully. Okay. Now apparently, this is a safe-ish spot. I just gotta watch out for the bats, and they're very difficult to see. Very difficult. Um, they go up, they go back. You know, bat stuff. And it looks like I can hit him when he's going around and around. So that might be a little safer, actually. Ah, yes, Count Vlad. 
Aha! I hit you! Let's, uh, keep things safe here. Better safe than sorry on this. Uh, is he regaining his health? That would be bad for me. Surely it's just my imagination. Come on, gotta keep hitting him. Aha! Got him a couple times that time. Day is mine. Just don't try to rush things. That's the main thing. Shit, I tried to rush things. I made a terrible mistake. Now I'm back to standard whip. That's okay. We've almost got him. Just a few more attacks, I think. Man, it's a good thing I've... I'm, uh... The bats don't seem to do much damage to me, which is good. But I believe we've got it. I think we got it. Man, after all that trouble last week, it was this simple as finding a safe spot. Who'd have guessed? Don't want to jump directly into his personage. Haha! -ha! Day is mine. Pop the music up a little bit now. Peace returned to Transylvania as Dracula was destroyed by the forces of good. Ooh. Dracula's evil castle suddenly disappeared in a fire below. A fire blow. A fire blow. Simon was now free from Dracula's curse, but he suffered too much. And died in front of Castle's ruins. Aw. That's... that's... that's bad. The next morning, a priest announced the death of Count Dracula. And the peasants rejoiced. And people from the towns of Transylvania came to his grave with joy and hopeness. Lots of hopeness. Sanity was granted to Simon Belmont, who is now resting in light and eternity. Special thanks to... some people. John Hargreaves, author of the Allegro Library. Must be, um... what they use to make the game or something. Very cool. E.J. Delory. Above all... Accounting. Konami. Founder of Castlevania. Ah, yes. Caretakers of Evil. Oh, cool. We get a roll call. Vampire Bat from Castlevania's first level's boss. Neat. Skeleton from Castlevania 3. Right. I remember that. Reaper from Castlevania 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I recognize most of these. Igor from Castlevania 3. Blood King from Castlevania 2. The Innocent from Castlevania 2, right? Those hanging things, the mummy from Castlevania 2. Lots of stuff from Castlevania 2, which I am fine with. Demon from Castlevania 2. Medusa from Castlevania 2nd Level's boss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Castlevania 1 Dracula. With an orange, orange head. He's clearly been eating Cheetos. Well, that was a fun fan game. With the exception of level 7. Damn you, level 7! If I have any advice for aspiring Castlevania fan game creators, it's take it easy on the surprise enemies next to bottomless pits. Because that shit ain't cute. Other than that, I had a lot of fun with this one. So we shall see what the next game down the line is. I thank Vlad Tepish 3176 for 
uh, sponsoring these, this series and many other Castlevania-themed games. And I thank you for watching. So until next time, this has been your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>